Use of Deer Hatch 6000 UV Visible Spectrophotometer in the Determination of Organic Compounds. Hello guys, today we are going to talk about UV Visible Spectroscopy or you can say that UV Visible Spectrophotometer. Okay, So this is UV Visible Spectrophotometer from the Hatch company DR6000. So before going into detail about uh, spectrophotometer, we also should also know what is spectroscopy or what is UV visible uh, light or what is UV and what is visible. So normally UV visible spectroscopy is nothing but this is an analytical uh, methodology that is used to compute the amount of discrete wavelengths of UV or visible light that are absorbed by or transmitted through a simple comparison to a reference or a blank sample. So. The principle behind UV visible spectroscopy is based on the absorption of ultraviolet light or visible light by chemical compounds which results in the production of uh, a kind of you can say a discrete spectra or a specific spectra uh, okay so this is based on the interaction between the light or you can say between light and matter Okay, now this spectroscopy is based on the absorption of electromagnetic radiation which is in the UV visible range with the wavelength range of 200 to 400 nanometers which is called ultraviolet spectroscopy and, and also 400 to 800 nanometers which is called visible. So we have the range that is lying from 200 to 800 nanometers okay within combined it's called UV visible spectroscopy. Now a spectrophotometry is a method we now know what is spectroscopy and what is the range of view visible okay so we should also know what is spectrophotometry so it is a method to measure how much a chemical substance absorbs light by measuring the intensity of light as a beam of light that passes through a sample solution it passes through a sample solution the basic principle is that each compound absorbs or transmits light over a certain range of wavelength okay now certain range of wavelength means we have to find out what is the lambda max okay okay now we have to find out what is the lambda max so the lambda max is the wavelength at which a substance has its strongest photon absorption you can say the highest point along the spectrum that is y-axis okay and the, this ultraviolet visible spectrum for this technique we are going to use uh, quartz cubits which is required for the measurement in the ultraviolet range because the glass and the most plastics they absorb UV light okay and they create a kind of interference so for avoiding interference we have to use uh, quartz cubits which you can see this is the quartz cubit here okay and normally for let's talk about the UV visible spectrophotometer that we are going to use this is our main interface which is called D I mean like the whole system is called DR6000 which we have a main menu we have store programs we have user programs we have single wavelength wavelength scan we have barcode so not only you can uh, make your own calibration in this equipment and also you can I mean like work with uh, hatch barcoded kits and you don't need to do anything any you need, just need to put your kits and it will read the barcodes and then you it will give you a value Okay. For storing our own programs, we have a section called user program. This is our own program stored. So the first one is for test of violet EBT. And then this is for other, uh, I mean like other pollutants. So you can also make your own program and store. Okay. Now, before doing that, let's talk about uh, single wavelength and wavelength scan. Okay. So, so today we are going to, to know about uh, the calibration i mean like the we will do the calibration of uh, antibiotic that's called ciprofloxacin and there are other accessories that are used for high volume testing like you can see this is a carousal you can take it out and you can store okay normally this is for troubleshooting and checking before you any before you switch on the machine you need sometimes to take out for checking or for some scanning okay so you can take it out or also you can remove this uh, while cleaning okay or if it goes out of order you can replace with this with a new one let's start with the calibration so we will close this one so while analysis you always have to close while putting you have to 
keep these are different sizes cube for different sizes cube widths this is for 10 20 30 i already discussed you can go from 100 to 100 nanometers cube widths okay now what we will do we'll go to the scan and then we have to specify uh which wavelength you want to work so in my case i have put this to 200 to 500 nanometers normally the maximum wavelength of ciprofloxacin lies from i told you earlier it will be 250 to 350 it depends okay the purity of your uh, pollutant or the purity of your water also in which you are preparing so this one you can see is my ciprofloxacin does this uh, concentration is around 35 ppm so the solubility of ciprofloxacin is around 35 milligrams per liter in the water what I have to do, I have to put my cubit here and also make sure there is no impurities at, at the edges or on the surface. So what I have to do, this arrow should be pointed here. I'll put here and then first of all, I have to zero it and there should be nothing. This is a deionized water. So I will say zero. So yeah, now you can see there is a straight line coming up since this is a distilled water. So there would be no peaks. So now we will put our pollutant and we will see what is the lambda max. So you can see here, this is our lambda max okay, for ciprofloxacin. Okay, so this is around 320. So this absorbance is 1.433 and the lambda max is 320 nanometers, which is, I mean, like uh, uh, acquired from the lambda max spectrum from the UV's visible spectros photometer. And tax would be we have to come out of the of this window now we have to go to the user program and we have to go to the okay now what we will do we'll go to program option and then we will say new go to the new and then we will say okay and then we will type our name so our name i'm putting this here c then i'm adding i Okay, making a short form for our sacred prophecy cif okay then i will press next and then it says single wavelength multi so i will say single i will choose single and then i will say i want so i'll say milligram per liter and then i have to specify the wavelength so for the wavelength was you if you remember it was 320 nanometers so i will press 320 this is very important to mention the wavelength then I'll say, and then what resolution you want? Want 0 0.01, 0 0.0. Let's go choose 0 0.001, and then I'll go here. And then we have to mention the chemical form. So we will say here, okay, CI. E F short form. Okay. Let's say next. And then to we will press press read standards and next. Okay, now we have to add which standards we want to. Say. So first of all, you have to make zero, and then we will say zero point five, and then we will say one. Okay, and then we can add two, and then we can add five. Similarly, we can add ten. And then we can add 20 and then we can add we can add as much as point so the minimum number of point i hope you all know that should be for a calibration it should be at least three okay so we'll start from zero and first of all we have to prepare these standard ranges what we will do first of all we have to zero it so for zeroing it we have added the ionized water and then i'm going to press zero is already zero so i will say read okay now i have to add to this one 0.5 ppm of ciprofloxacin so what i will do i have already prepared this now what i will do i will transfer this here okay now make sure there is no thumb impression and there is no dirt on the cubit this is our quartz cubit already discussed okay. 
why do we use quartz cubit and why we don't use glass one so i press read so this absorbance is around 0 0.024 similarly i will throw this and then i will add okay now i will add this one first of all i will rinse this so after cleaning this so i will add this cubit here and then if 0.5 is rating 0 0.024 so one has to be double the absorbance has, should be double so i'll press it's it's uh not double but it's more than so we'll check what's the issue let us do one by one now we'll add 5 ppm Is our 5 ppm? So it's the 5 ppm, uh, sorry, 2 ppm is, I mean, like it's okay. So you can see this absorbance here. We'll check again the absorbance of 1 ppm. We'll press here. So it's almost double. And let's let us check again the concentration of two ppm. Okay, so it's okay, showing zero point zero five eight. Now we will check the concentration absorbance of five ppm. Okay. So it's almost showing uh, five times than I mean like if you see one ppm is 0 0.047 so it's almost five times okay now we will check the absorbance of 10 ppm ppm so 10 ppm you can see it's almost double of 5 ppm okay it's 20 ppm So it's also more than 10 ppm so it's almost double now we will check take the absorbance of 30 ppm so it's almost more than the 20 ppm no we will check the calibration so you can see the calibration is 0.995 so 0.995 so it's almost equal to 1 so our calibration is okay so now we'll store this and we can store okay now it's stored now we have to come off the fix this window and you can see this is stored here so for measurement it says start and then what we have to do we can use this as unknown and then we can okay check our okay so we'll press zero so it's zero and then you're gonna check that 30 or what so it's almost equal to 30 so our calibration is perfectly okay so i hope you all like uh, the whole discussion it was a bit long okay so i hope you all like and understood the calibration so normally if you want to see your reading in transmit absorbance and transmittance so you can change and then it can see you can see you can see all the readings so it's absorbance transmittance all so you can just change click on the option you can just change here so you can see this is our okay come out of here so it's subscribe 9.321 ciprofloxine as a mimic and known sample okay